Hi guys, welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to talk about 5 things that you can do that can enhance your uh, ability to be a great data scientist in the future. So let's this video start. First thing that I want to talk about is when you are uh, trying to do a project in the company, try to do end-to-end -end project. I know that most of the time it is not uh, possible for you to get to an end-to-end -end project like uh, most of the time you are either working on a, some part of a single project or we are just doing a, some a single part of a very big project that we don't know about. So when you are trying to do obviously a single part of a very big project, then also try to communicate to the different members of the team to get a basic idea about how the end-to-end -end project is actually being done. So if you have a good idea about how the end-to-end -end project is being done, then that will help you get the understanding of the overall context of the business very good and one more thing when you are trying to switch jobs in the future it will help you to demonstrate or to explain what was the implication or what was the effect of your work or the, the work that your team was doing on the um, real life uh, to do end-to-end -end project uh, obviously just try to just talk to manager and say that you want to do single project and just try to uh, work on very try to work on everything starting from the how the data is constructed how you're trying to build a model obviously data construction and uh, data analysis itself a very big thing in the um, data science and machine learning but uh, when you will try to do end-to-end -end project you will just learn everything from the very scratch and you will also have a very big idea about how the things are actually done the second thing that i want to talk about is whenever we're trying to do a project in the industry whenever the project is getting completed just try to make a short notes of what was your contribution inside that particular project and what was the overall project all about one more thing so it means that let's say i complete a project on a particular uh, object detection algorithm so uh, I, uh, the obvious thing is that whenever you're trying to do a project that project is something new that like you are trying to do something new based on that project so what you can do just make a five slide ppt or ten slide ppt uh, explaining starting from the very beginning what you started to do and till the end like what was the uh, final results how actually we arrived at result and each and everything starting from the technical models that you used one or two lines about the models that uh, you have used in that particular project so why we are actually doing this so let's say you are in a particular company for two or three years and you have uh, done multiple projects then after two or three years when you are not currently in that particular project you will actually forget about a lot of things a lot of small small details that you actually have to remember and that actually you can explain to the uh, other companies while switching that will make a better impact of uh, you that is why just try to make a small slide that hardly take a more not less than uh, not more than half an hour or you can also write a one page or two page notes about the particular project and that will actually help you in future whenever you try to understand how what was the work we're trying to do at that particular time so i usually do these things itself uh, i now also do these things whenever a project is getting completed i actually try to prepare a two three uh, slides ppt or maybe some big ppt the big the project is very big so this will help you uh, get the better understanding of your project in the future when you are trying to explain it to someone the third thing that i want to talk about is regarding the latest ai research and tools so let's say um, these days actually there's a lot of new ai tools are coming out like the chat gpt google bard palm then what you can do if you are not having expertise in this area then also you need to know how these things are working so let's say uh, i am someone who is not working on natural language processing then also i need to know like what are, what are the basic uh, basic working of these particular uh, models so these tools you need to try out by yourself just don't there's no need to go to the detail of the like uh, what was the uh, number of layers on your network use whether it was transformer or something else so there is no need to do those things but obviously just try to use those tools just have a well versed with the how the things are uh, being done by this particular tools uh, so maybe one basic thing is to just try out the every tools that is actually available and just to have your small thinking about how these tools can help in the future what uh, are the modifications that someone can do to modify these tools so that is that whether th there is a new research coming out in ai machine learning natural processing or computer vision just have a uh, a basic understanding a basic understanding i mean so just go and try out the tool and uh, see if uh, it's really is a bit good uh, or, and uh, if it's really suits you then obviously just uh, uh, it's better to you know about something about how those tools are working so that is the best thing to start and obviously if you're more interested then obviously you can go and read about the more research papers regarding how those things are actually constructed and uh, if you have some time if you have a uh, gpu memories you can also try out those models by yourself also fourth thing that i want to do is whenever we try whenever we start job in the 
industry like i started my job 2 years ago and at that time we actually know a lot of theoretical stuff that are actually taught in the college but when with the time when we actually progress uh, things become obsolete we started to work on new new things and we actually forget the old concept so one more thing is that just go back uh, pull out your notes and revise something from your academics so why this is important so uh, let's say uh, when we start our job we actually start to work on more real life problems but uh, inside the real life problems there are hidden uh, theoretical stuffs that if you understand those things better if you recall those things you can actually utilize those things to uh, make the real life problem solution very easy so that is why it is important ki uh, uh, if you have not revised things in past one year or two years just go back pull out notes uh, have uh, two three weekends spend on them and just uh, try to revise a concept like uh, what is the probability based theorem random variables uh, the inference the distributions the machine learning algorithms working how the decision tree works how the linear regression works the multiplicity or if you are trying to read deep learning then optimization linear algebra whatever the topics that you have read uh, while doing the preparations in the early days just try to go and try to revise those things this will just brush up your concept so that ki uh, you will become more confident about the things that are going to come in the future so see in the ml and deep learning overall if you go to the basics things are related to the optimizations uh, Uh, some some calculus will be there. You will be optimizing something and neural network. So all these things are going to come around uh, whether you are going to use a very advanced model or whether you are going to use a simpler model. So if you just revise the basic concept and something new comes up in the future, obviously it will help you to uh, understand the things better and uh, it, it, this will help you to have confidence that yes you can understand the complex thing. So theoretical stuffs are important, especially in the machine learning and data science. That is why it is important for you to go and study those things once again. Just not spend too much time, but yeah. Spend some a few time, a few time, uh, uh, and then you will able to have more confidence about the things. The thing that I want to talk about is uh, when you are in the job and you spend two, three years, then obviously you have some experience about how the things are done. Uh, what is is it take takes of someone to get a job in the industry? So just utilize those things. Help someone in it. Go help your college freshers or uh, someone who is actually trying to reach out on the LinkedIn, and this will actually help you uh, uh, understand more about. how the what are the problems faced by the uh, freshers so actually when we started our job we actually faced uh, some problems because we were also freshers and uh, this will actually help you uh, revisit your old concept and uh, maybe um, help someone and then you will realize that ki yes you are making uh, someone life better so these five things i will just uh, revise once again just try to do end to end project and if you are also not getting any end to end project just try to understand how the end overall end to end projects are being done the second thing is just uh, make a short ppt about what about the things that you have worked on uh, uh, you can also make short notes and uh, the third thing is that try just try to uh, try to use latest ai tools that are being developed by the researcher and uh, this will actually help you in being cop up with the latest trend that are being done in the ai and machine learning the fourth thing is that uh, just go back and revise your old concept when you revise your old concept it it give you more confidence about the things that are going to come up in the future because if obviously everything is related to the Old stuffs that we have studied in our college, especially in terms of data science and machine learning. And fifth thing is that just go and uh, help someone in it. If you're helping someone, then obviously these four things that I've talked about on the top are being obviously are uh, done in some or other way. So this will actually help you uh, boost your confidence, and obviously you'll be more better data scientists in the future and just trying to uh, doing all these things. Obviously, all, we all are trying to do something. We all are learning some some or other thing in on one or another way, and obviously we all are have some of our area of expertise and some of our areas where we don't know much. But yeah, doing these things will help us make uh, our understanding better in as a whole. So thanks for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.